All right, so in this video, we're going to be creating the ceiling of the ground floor. So let's get started with this. So I'm going to go into edit mode of this object, right? So from this end over here to the end over here is about uh, is about 1.42. So I'm going to take this over here, extrude this in the y axis, and type in 1.42 negative in a negative direction, just like that. And I'm going to take these two, press Shift and D to duplicate it. And then P to separate the selection. And I'm going to take this vertex and delete it. Now let's get out, take this, go into edit mode, press E and then X, extrude this all the way to about here. Let's take this object as well, go into edit mode. And then we're going to take that edge and this vertex, press S and then X and type in zero. All right. And now from here to this side, to the left side, is about uh, 1.29. So I'm going to extrude this in the X axis and type in 1.29, negative, like that. I'm going to extrude this in the y axis, take this, press S and Y and type in 0. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and that, press S and X and type in 0. And I'm going to take both of these vertices and delete them. So let me take this edge and I'll go over to the top view, extrude this in the y axis, take this vertex, press S and Y and type in 0. All right, now I'm going to take this, pull it back just like this, take the whole of this, extrude it in the x axis, take this, press S and X and type in 0. Just like that. All right, now what we're going to do is to take this one as well, pull it all the way here. I think that distance is 1.06. So let me just take this extrude in the x axis, 1.06, just like this. And I'm going to take that one in and this, type in the S and then X and type in 0. Now I'm going to delete this vertex, take these two edges, extrude it in the y axis, take this, press S and then Y and type in 0. And now I think here is 0.897. So let me just take this extruding Y, type in 0.897, like this, in the negative direction, like that. And I'm going to take this and then that, press S and Y, and type in 0. Now we can delete this vertex. Now let's take this extruded in the X axis. And I want to press S and X and type in 0. All right. So I'm going to pull it beyond it a bit because if we take a look at this, it pulls beyond it just a bit. Okay. So just like that. So I think like that all right now this is the actual measurement from uh, from here to the inside right now if you take a look up here we have some steps going on each of them is about 0.2 and that's what we're trying to create not the one at the base so if we're trying to create that we're going to have to add those steps distance to it okay each of them is 0.2 so in total we have about 0.6 in total so let me get to the top view and i'm going to take these two i'm going to press g and then y i want to add 0 0.06 to it so that's 0.48 up to there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to take these two. I don't know how far that is. So I'm going to put an edge in here. Press S and Y and type in 0 to be able to tell me how far I'm moving. All right. So I'm going to take all of this. Press G and then X. I'm going to add in 0 0.06. So that is 1.35 right there. I'm going to take this, dissolve that edge. And I don't think I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oh, you know, let's just do it. I'm going to pull it just a bit like that. And I'm going to move on over here as well, okay? So let me just add in a loop cut over here to give me the measurement, make it straight up and down. And I'm going to take all these. I'm going to add 0.6 to it as well. I mean 0 0.06. So G and then X, 0 0.06 does 1.12. Like that. And now I can get rid of that edge. And finally, over here as well. Okay, we already have a straight edge. So let's just take those two. Press G and then Y. Uh, that should be 1.0. That is uh, 0 0.8. Point eight, no, point nine, five, seven. Point nine, five, seven. Just like that. Is that right? Let me see. You know, let's type in the value and see if that gives us the actual thing. So G and then Y, point zero six. G and then Y, point zero six so negative and there we go so is that the same value yeah all right so with that done what we're going to do now is to take the whole thing i'm going to go over to this side now i'm going to extrude this in the z axis it's about uh 0.487 so e and z i'm going to type in 0.487 like this that gives us the extrusion all the way to the top now i'm going to press ctrl and i sorry Control and I for this one, and I'm going to press X and delete the vertices, all right? So now I'm going to take all of this, get to the top, I mean the front view. We're going to press E and then Z and type in 0 0.02, all right? Negative, of course. Extrude that down just like that. 
and now i want to duplicate that one the one that we just extruded press shift and d to duplicate it right click to keep it in place and we're going to press ctrl and i to hide everything else with h and i want to take this let's get over to the top view okay so i'm going to press i said each step was point was point zero two so we're going to create that step right now by pressing ctrl and r press e and then f to align with the outer side i want to pull we're going to put it to about point zero two or something pretty close and just move in a bit press g twice then let's get that point zero two going so that is about 0 0.02 just like that and i want to take all of the outer edge of the vertices and delete them all right so i'm going to take this one now get to the front view the whole thing i want to press e and z and type in 0 0.02 negative 0 0.02 just like that all right now i'm going to duplicate that as well right click to keep it in place Control and i and then h to hide everything else let's get over to the top view i'm going to press Control and r through here press e and then f and then we're going to put in 0 0.02, so that's pretty close. I'm going to take all of this, press X, and delete the vertices, all right? So now take everything, get to the front view, press E and then Z, 0 0.02, negative, of course, and press Enter to confirm it. Now let's press Alternate to bring everything back. Take a look at how this looks. And as you can see, it's looking great everywhere. All right. So now all I'm going to do now is to go into edit mode. I'm going to take this faces now. Let me see from here. All the way to here all right i'll select the base faces uh, the bottom faces for for us just have to click on this hold on control and click on that and it selects that whole uh thing for us and now what we're going to do is to press shift and d to duplicate it just like this and then press p to separate the selection all right we'll join them back together later but i just want to do this real quick so let's take that piece that we duplicated like that I'm going to go into edit mode, take this, get to the front view. Let's take this piece as well. So get out of edit mode, take that piece as well, go into edit mode, and let's take only these faces up here, go into vertex select mode, and I'm going to extrude this off. Yeah, let's extrude this in the Z axis. We're now going to keep it where it is, and we're going to take this vertex, press S and Z, and type in zero to flatten it with that vertex because it touches it right at the bottom right there. So you can see what I'm trying to go for right there. So let's get out of edit mode. Let's take this, go in here. We don't need the face at the bottom, so we're going to delete those faces. And we don't need the faces here either, so we're going to delete this. Delete that. I want to delete all of these faces as well. No, not those. Okay, I think there's one at the top as well, so let's delete those faces as well. Now let's take all of these and delete those faces as well. Alright, that's good. So now I want to get to the front view and create the, uh, the, the metal plates that we have going on. I think we have about four on this side. So let's go in here. Is that right? Yeah, it's about right, but I think we may have made some mistakes. So let's bring this back, all right? Let's bring this back. And uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to press Control and R3 here. I'm just press Control and R3 here. Let's do this real quick, okay? So Control and R3 here, I'm going to press e and then f until we have point 0.2 i forgot to do that <clears throat> sorry i want to have it point 0.2 i think that is about good now let's take all of these vertices press ctrl and plus to increase the selection and i'm going to delete all of those vertices now i'm going to take all of these i want to press e and then z take this vertex press s and z and type in zero and that's all all right now i'm going to take all of these vertices press ctrl and plus I'm going to delete all of those vertices, including the face at the top. So we only have this left right here. Okay, so what I did is to just add in a bit of a gap here between these two. All right, so now we can cut out the slabs by going into the front view, going to edit mode. We, we have about four slabs over, I mean, four plates over here. We're going to press Ctrl and R3 here, add in uh, three of these into this place. And I need to create the gap in between it, all right? So I'm just going to press Ctrl and B3 here. And I want to create that tiny gap, okay? It's just something small like this. I want to press X and delete those faces, okay? Just to give us that tiny gap we have going on. I want to take this edge here, press V, and I want to pull it in the X axis. Just a bit like that. Oh, you know what? Let me press Ctrl and R2 here. Until I have point, uh, point zero 0.02 in here, I think. Yeah, so let me make it point zero 0.02. Just like that, okay? And I want to take this edge over here. I don't know if that's the right one. Yeah. So I'm going to press X and delete those vertices to create that tiny gap over there. So now what I'm going to do now is to take all of these. One, two, three, four. And I want to extrude this in the Y axis. 0.02. Like this. Okay. 
just like that so that creates the first set of plates for us and uh, we're pretty much going to do the same thing all around it so i'm not going to go through the process of doing that or you know what i'll actually go through the process of doing it because you can see this side is actually more thicker than the uh, the ones over here so we're gonna have to take make sure that side is pretty much the same so i'm gonna end the video here and we're gonna continue in the next episode so i'll see you guys in the next episode